Grade 12 CAT students, you are here because you want to check out this exam paper from June 2023. Not the November paper, but the June one. And this is to help you revise for your prac exam, your paper one. In the first video, we did question one, which was Word. We're going to do the second video today, which is the second question, which is also a Word question. So let's get straight into it. Just a reminder to get the data files from the link in the video description. So let's get into this question. Question two, we must open up the document to Mountain, which I've done already over here. And we must start with 2.1. Add the text Mountain as a subject to the file properties of the document. So to go to the file properties of the document, we can come here to File. And we're going to come down to Info. And so here are all the properties of the document. And they said we must change the subject to Mountain. So we can see there's no subject option. Let's go Show All Properties. And there we go. You can see subject has now appeared. We're going to specify a subject and put in Mountain as one of our subjects. And I'll go back to the document. And we want to replace the picture on the cover page with the two table picture. Apply any half reflection effect to this picture. So we got this picture over here. So we're going to click on it and you can go and insert a picture while it's selected. It should replace it or we can just right click on it and we can change the picture. We're going to change it from this device. And there is the two table picture. So we're going to click on that one and we're going to go insert. And there we've changed the picture. So we're going to click on the picture format and we are looking for any half reflection effect. Now there's picture effects. Let's go look at what we've got there. And they said reflection. So let's go to reflection. So if I put my mouse over here, you can see there is tight. There's a half reflection. There's a full reflection. So I think these middle ones are all half reflections. So they said we can use any half reflection effect. So let's just click that one over there. Just touch in. So I'm happy with that. Click away. And that's the effect that I want. 2.3 insert automatic page numbers display as shown below so there you can see a couple of things that we are looking at section 2 must have a 1 with a dash dash around it so that's how the page numbers must appear page numbers should not appear in section 1 so if you come over here we are probably if I double click over here at the head and footer we are in section 1 let's find section 2 and I come over and the, there we go. There's the start of section two. If I come up here, you'll see that section one. So I'm in section two over here and we're going to insert page numbers at the bottom here in the footer and we want it as a number dash number. Now I'm not seeing any one that's going to have those dashes around it. So let's just pick a normal one that we want in the center because if you look over here there is it in the center and we're going to just manually put in a dash space around it and do we don't want to put a gap between let's put dashes around it so there we go so we want that and then it must be as we said in the footer but we want it to start at one in section two where yeah you can see it starts at two so when i click on it we can come here to page number we can actually go and format the page number we could have actually used that format. Actually, that would have been a better option. If we used that format, that would have been the one that we are looking for. But we wanted to start at one. If I do that, then I can actually remove my little dashes that I had there. So that's actually probably what they wanted. But you saw how you could have modified it yourself. So there we go. So now it starts at one in section two. And there we go. That is the footer. Let's click away. And we can scroll down now it goes to two and so on so there we go and let's just confirm that there's nothing in section one so if we come over here oh there is a page number here in section one so what we need to do is when we come over here to this is we must not link to previous so when i click away and come over here we can actually get rid of that one over there because we undid the link, that one will still be there. To recap, we went over here, we unlinked it to the previous, and then we removed the one that was in front. So you'll see there's no more page numbers in the first section. That was quite tricky there. Then 2.4, insert a table of contents using the distinctive format below the heading question 2.4 to appear as follows. So let's first go find 2.4. So there's 2.4. We're going to click over there and we want to insert a table of contents, a distinctive one. Let's just take note of a couple of things. Yeah, it's for four marks. So we can insert a table of contents that's distinctive, but we need solid lines, as you can see over there. And you can see that there are a couple of levels that are being shown. It looks like it's only two levels that are being shown. We must ignore the format of the page numbering because it'll be fine, I think. We've got to make sure that our headings, so table mounting and free walking guides must be in our headings. So let's just go have a look at that. So if I come down here, we can click over here 
and you can see that that table mountain is a heading one that's fine that's what we want but we also want free walking guides to be in our table so if i come here to free walking guides there's free walking guides if i click on that oh do you see that is table sub that's going to be the second level in our table of contents so just take note of that when we come over here to our table of contents so let's go so we're going to come here to referencing we're going to go insert a table of contents so we're going to come here to custom and we said we want a distinctive one so we're going to click on distinctive we definitely wanted that solid leader line so the solid one is what we want and we wanted only two levels so if i come here to options this is double check so heading one is a level heading two let's go check if that table sub is on our level no we want that to be a level two as well so we're going to click ok and let's go click ok and there we go does it look like what we want so we've definitely got the lines we've definitely got hiking and free walking guides so there we go I think that is correct. So let's move on to 2.5. Find the text 2.5 below the heading Table Mountain and replace the text with a cross reference to the bookmark Cableway. Display the page number only. So we're making a cross reference to the Cableway bookmark and only showing the page number. Let's go to 2.5. There it is. And we are replacing this text. So we're going to select it and we're going to go to references to a cross reference. So we're going to click on cross reference and we want to go not to a numbered item but we want to go to a bookmark and we want to go to the cableway bookmark so click on that and the reference must be the page number only so that's why we're only clicking the page number so we're going to click insert close and there we go it's inserted the cross reference over there 2.6 find the heading hiking and the text below it that ends with a group let's scroll down there is hiking and there's with a group so it's over a couple of pages so let's select that text should be include the heading so it mentions the heading so we're going to add a paragraph formatting so that the text will always remain together so that's got to do with the paragraph so if i come here to the paragraph settings come here to home and click on that dialog pop-up or you can right click and format the paragraph both of those will do we want it to keep together so that's under the line and page breaks so we want this all to keep together. So we're going to keep the line together, but I actually want to keep it with next as well. So I'm going to do both of them. So if something happens to this, it'll always put it on one page together. So let's do both of those. And you'll see that it moved that part to a new page because this stuff must always be together. So that was to always make sure that it'll always remain together. So I did the keep with next and keep lines together. 2.7, find the numbered list below the heading facts. Here we go. Here's our heading. And we want to use a multi-level list so that the table list appears as shown in the option list styles. And then we must change the table list style so that the number style of the second level must be that symbol, which is 77 of webdings. So they remind us that we can hover over the list styles to see the names of the style. So we want to first change the numbered list to a multi-level list of table list. So let's select all of this text first of all. I think it goes up until there. And when it come here, that's a numbering format, but we're going to come here to multi-level numbering. And there's list styles. If I put my mouse over, you can see that is table list. That's the one that we want. I'm going to click on it. So that was already done as a multi-level list. So we're going to come here and we can actually right click and modify it. So we come to these options and the second level. So I'm going to click on the second level. So let's go to the second level over there. And we want to change that to the webdings bullet of 77. So we want to have a new bullet style. So we're going to change it to a symbol. I think that's the one for the symbol. So let's click on that. And it comes here. We are on webdings already, but we want to go to number 77. So if you didn't find webdings, you would have just gone over here and found webdings. But we're going to find number 77. There's the mountain. So we're going to click OK. So now we can see that the second list style is that mountain. And then we can click OK. And you can see that it's applied it to all the level twos that were in our list. So there we go. We changed it. I think that's all we need for the three marks. Next, 2.8. Find the picture below the heading access and make the following changes. So let's go find the picture below access. There's access. There's our picture. They want us to format the picture to that of a Benin Picture Blocks Smart Art graphic. So let's come here and click on Picture Format. And we want to change the layout. So here's one of the Smart Arts and that. And we're looking for the Benin Picture Blocks. If I go through all of them, eventually, let's try that one. So there we go. Benin Picture Blocks. That's the one that we want. So I'm going to click on that one. 
then insert the text view in the shape that is part of the smart object graphic. So we're going to insert the text view. So let's type in the word view and then format the size of the smart art graphic to exactly five centimeters high and 10 centimeters wide. So when they talk about the smart art, I think they're talking about everything. So if I click on the whole thing, we come here to format, we can click on the size. So let's click on that little box so we can change it manually. We want it, as I said, exactly seven. So let's change that to seven and 10 wide. So let's go and change that to 10. Let's click away because it's not locked those we can change them separately and it won't automatically adjust. So make sure that that's not locked if you do that. So let's click OK. And there we can see that it's changed. And there we go. I think we've done the three marks. Now 2.9. Find the text box above the map that contains the subheading Table Mountain National Park. So let's come down here. There we go. There's the text box. There we go. Boom. And adjust the text and the text box so that it appears on the map as follows. So you'll notice that the text is running from the bottom up it's on its side so it's rotated and we can see all of the text table mountain national park so we're going to drag that down a bit and we want table mountain on the top and then national park map on the bottom so i'm going to go here and put an enter there so that table mountain is the top and the national park road is by itself and we want to make sure that that text is rotated so we're going to click on the format of the shape and i want to come here and rotate it to the beyonce i mean to the left like that so when i click on it it's going to go back to normal because it's selected but if i click away you can see it goes back to its original shape but then i'm going to drag it down and i must go somewhere over there i think you can actually make it a bit smaller if we need to just to make it sure that it fits on the map nicely like that i'll do that so it doesn't look like that. You can probably move it in a bit more, but there we go. It's been rotated and adjusted. I think those will be the two marks. So let's save the document. They say save and close it. Then 2.10, they say locate the two dips zip file and do the following. So there's the two dates zip file. They want us to extract the two dates files by using the fast password 4D slash M. So we're going to double click on the two dates zip file. So we want to extract it to the same folder that we are in. So let's say yes, extract. It's going to ask us for a password. If you remember, the password is hash D slash M. So let's click on show password so we can see that it'd be typing in incorrectly. So we can say hash D slash M, all small letters. Let's click OK. So let's go see what we've got there. So there's the file that it's just extracted, that two dates file. So I'm assuming we're going to open it and we want to sort the table according to the dates on which the places were opened, starting with the most recent opening date. So let's double click on this file. And reminder, they want us to sort according to the dates on which the places were opened, starting with the most recent opening date. So we want to sort this table. So I'm going to click on the whole table and let's go to table layout. So there's our sort option. So I'm going to click on sort and it's going to ask me, how do we want to sort it? Well, we want to sort it by the date opened and we want it starting with the most recent opening date. So the most recent date is normally the biggest date. Think about the year 2002 is a lot more recent than 1984. So we actually want this sorted from the biggest date to the smallest date. So we actually want it sorted in descending order. So let's try that and click OK. So there we go. We can see that 2018 is at the top and 1967 is at the bottom. So there we go. We're going to click Save. And I think that is done. And there we go. That's the end of question two. Now let's move on to question three. Make sure that you support the channel by clicking on that subscribe button and staying a subscriber and sharing us with your friends. Remember, we have a theory YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms and we're also on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.